Hello. In the last issue, we looked at setting up the basic configuration for the Magazine Store app template for publishing to Apple's newsstand. In this video, we're going to look at getting our product identifier so we can sell issues of our magazine from within our app. And it's on the Magazine Store page that we need to enter a product identifier. This page type works only with in-app purchases set up on your iTunes Connect account. Even if your magazine is going to be available for free, you still need to set up in-app purchases for your app in order to get the product identifier. You can of course mix free issues with paid issues in the same magazine app. For example, you could make your first issue available for free to build your audience and then charge for subsequent issues. The buy button is configured according to the way you have set up your in-app purchases for your app. If the in-app purchase is set to free, instead of buy showing on the button, it will display open instead. And please note, this page cannot be fully tested in the app previewer because in-app purchases can only be tested with published apps or ad hoc builds. So let's go to itunesconnect.apple.com and we will create our product identifier. Now before we can create a new in-app purchase product, we need to create a new app inside our iTunes Connect account. So go to Manage Your Apps and we're going to add a new app. Now before we can actually create a new app in iTunes Connect, we need to first register a new bundle ID. So I'm going to click on this and open it in a new tab. And this is where we can register a new app ID. For app ID description, we can enter the name of our app, for example, Mobile Marketing Monthly, and Explicit App ID, the Bundle ID, the Bundle ID, we can get that from Buzz Apps. If you go back to your magazine's dashboard, your app's dashboard, and in this case, the ID is buzzapps.com iCashTest.MagazineStore1. So Control C to copy that. I'll go back over here and I'm going to go Control V to put that in. And I'm going to begin it with com dot. This is the reverse domain name style for creating these names. So com dot domain name dot app name. Okay. And now we need to scroll down further. And we need to enable push notifications and click continue. And that is completed, so now I'll click on submit. And as you can see, in-app purchase is enabled for this as well as push notifications. So now we can click on done. So let's go back to the iTunes Connect tab. Now let's back out of this page and we'll go back in, add a new one. Now we can enter our app name such as mobile marketing monthly and a SKU again we'll take that from the app builder app ID control C to copy control V to paste we get out that blank character we don't need that and bundle ID now the bundle ID is now in here because we just created that All right now we click on continue okay for the availability date and priced here well, let's set it for, let's say, February 1st, 2014. And we're actually going to set it as a free app because we're going to be selling the magazines inside our free app. So the app itself is free. And click on Continue. So on this page, we need to give it a version number, say 1.0, and copyright, let's say 2014, for Buzz Apps. Primary category, let's put it under Education, Secondary, Productivity and we can click no for all of these. None, should I say? It's not made for children. So metadata for description, I've got something typed out, I'll just paste that in there. Keywords, keywords, let's put in something like mobile, comma, no space, marketing advertising using single words etc. The reason why you don't put a space in it is because actually you've got your limited number of 
characters you can put here, up to 100 characters. Spaces count as characters, but they're not necessary. And single words without uh, compound words, simply because Apple will just look for single words anyway. Support URL, I'm just going to put in buzzapp.com slash support. Marketing, I can put one in. Privacy policy, I'm just going to put in buzzapp.com slash privacy. Of course, you put in your own privacy policy URL and your own support URL. It could be just your website, for example. So we need to add a large app icon. I'm just going to add the default icon from the template, the big icon at two times at PNG. Of course, you'd have your own icon. But for this demonstration, I'm just going to load this. And we also need an iPad screenshot. So I just took a screenshot of the template in my iPad. So I'm going to choose that file. And this is my screenshot. Okay. And now we can click on Save. Okay, now we need to set the newsstand status. We click on newsstand status. We're going to click on enable. And we're going to have to select a category for newsstand. In this case, I'm going to select professional and trade. Choose file. Okay, so file for the cover art. We'll just choose the image from our template. Of course, you'll have your own cover art, particularly for your magazine. Now we'll click on save and now we need to manage in-app purchases. So we click on manage in-app purchases. No in-app purchases we set for this app. Create a new one. Okay, in this case we're going to add a free subscription. Now we need to add a reference name. So in this case it's going to be mobile marketing monthly issue one and product ID let's call it mobile marketing MMN001 for example and that product ID is actually what we're needing back here when we're editing this page that is a product identifier that will go on there right so we get back to iTunes connect and MMM001, choose a file. Okay, we're going to upload the screenshot we took before. Of course, you'll have your screenshot of your real app. Okay. And there must be something left. Add a language, English, display name. Monthly, and we're going to call it issue one description I already have a description that I typed out before so I'm just going to paste that in and we're going to add the publication name Google marketing monthly and click on save oh the description is too long okay so for this example we're just going to cut it down like that okay and that pictures is all complete click on save and now the app is ready to submit. We we'll go back to our app builder. We've got a product identifier in here. And now we need to save that page. And now there's one more thing left to do. Let's go back to the magazine store's dashboard. And newsstand properties. And we need a newsstand icon. Okay, we're just going to use the icon that came with this template. Although, of course, you will create your own icon for your own magazine. So, we're uploading that. And we need the cover page. So, we'll just use the one that came within the template for this example. And, of course, we need to click on Enable for Newsstand. So, check that. So, Magazine, binding on the left. Click on Save. Okay, and now that is in-app purchases set up for this app. If this is a real app, we then click on Publish. 
would add it to our plan and then we click on magazine store again now it's ready to publish start submission process build and publish under my account click on next and then we will fill out these details just as we do for any other app okay thank you for watching in the next video we're going to go through the auto renewable magazine template and show you how you can set up an auto renewable magazine where you get subscriptions month by month from your magazine subscribers thank you for watching